Ooh, 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 ooh. 9.1.5 Grixons add-ons and UI. Hey guys, uh, I had a request for a UI video slash add-ons. So I'm going to try my best to give that to you today. I'll, I'll start from the middle and kind of work my way outwards. How about that? So in the middle, I am using Luxthos. Let's see if I can get that for you. Right here. Luxthos, these are all of his add-ons. It's the, it's this whole hub right here. It's all of his string of add-ons and he has one for every single class and they work for every single spec. Where am I going again? Okay, so you can go, you can get it on Wago or you can do Luxos.com, Shadowlands, Weak Auras, pick your guy, whatever you play, and then you have to copy each one of these individually, paste them individually into your Weak Auras, and then this one I use as well as Soul Pines. You would type in, you know, I, I, I'm assuming you know how to import a Weak Aura add-on. If you don't, there's other videos on that. So that is this main part here. Now, my health, my whole LVY, this is actually a custom LVY by a great tank, um, Quasi. He doesn't play WoW anymore. He only plays Final Fantasy now. But he did, at the beginning of Shadowlands, make this. And so, how I get to that, that's bright, sorry about that warning, is I went to Quasi.com, and then I went to Add-ons and Facts. So I think I went to just Facts. I click that, and this brings you here. And this is where I get a lot of his things. So his interrupt bars I am using right here. This is his interrupt bars. I might tweak it myself a little bit more. Um, yeah, he has a lot of stuff here, and I use a lot of his things, including his plater. I use this as well, uh, the circle. So there's a decent amount of his stuff I take, actually, because I think he does a great job with it all. And... Uh, his nameplate stuff is here pretty much all this stuff is here and he does have alternatives to these luxus ones his own custom tank ones he played a demon hunter vengeance tank for the most part so i found his blood death knight ones were a bit lacking for me because i main blood death knight and he didn't you know what i mean so he had it very nice for for what he needed it for so but that covers the health the mana, I mean, that covers the whole LVI. I set this up myself. The bars, though, are LVI, but they are me. And um, I've got details right here. And this is uh, the Covenant add-on, which is also just another add-on you can get. I'll show that in a minute, little bit here. Got a couple more recours here that show mana, the healer's mana, battle res timer, Stats. These are all very easy to find on Wago. And I can go over a quick list as well. Uh, this is the most popular weak aura for timers. I I would do the normal one with like angry keystones or something like that. I would do that. But I really like as I'm fighting a mob, it shows me how much I will get when I finish fighting it. You know what I mean? So um, last season when Pride was such a big deal... It was very nice for me to know, okay, after I finish this pack, I will have enough to trigger Pride. You know what I mean? It, it, it shows you right here what you're going to have after that pull. Very handy, I found. It's not as useful now for me, but it used to be. Oh, let's see, what else did I miss? This is also part of Lux, though. So is this. Interrupt, um, interrupt timer is... This is also from Quasi. This is Elcano's buffs. Elcano's buffs. Um, here's actually just a straight up list of my add-ons. So I've got Astral Keys, which is kind of just a helper. Raider IO, Mythic Plus. I hope you guys have that if you're doing this. I use big wigs. I don't use DBM. Decursive, if I'm playing a, anything that I think decurse, I, I use it for. Details, the damage meter, the Scada Covenants is the one that shows the covenants on it. Right here. Oop, 
all right blind you guys again um, I use Omni CC and Omni CD. I use Plater. Um, there's the Alcano's buff bars. LVI. I use GTFO. I like something just yelling at me. Uh, see the Maze Helper. Scrolling combat text. MDT. MDT is crucial for your tank. Simulation craft. Soul Ash. Tool tips. It just shows you how much Soul Ash you need. To upgrade and here are my weak auras so I said like I said the Lux those things and plus timer I have some updates to do um, necrotic bursting tracker I use yeah, uh, death strike estimator spark version that's good to know right here this little I don't know if you can see it, especially from mobile I'm sorry if you can't this little bar here shows you how much you will heal from your death strike it estimates but I'm going to make that a bit thicker hey, and bigger. Hey, so it shows it a little, a little better, but that is what that spark is. That's also just a weak order. Now there's one that I'm, when I'm doing a boss, let's get to a boss. Sorry. This was a, a recording from today. Would have been fine, but our damage was pretty low, so we didn't time it. But um, no issues for me. Okay. So when I'm fighting this guy, also this is mixed scrolling combat text. I need to tweak it more. It's not perfect. This guy right here. A little timeline showing you when a spell is going to have it from the boss. That's a good one to know. Oh, I keep doing that. I'm sorry, guys. Um, let's see. It is... Oh, I also have one for the IQD. Very nice to have. A quaking one. Where is it? Rateability timeline. This is what it's called. You can go on Wago and get that rateability timeline. We'll show this. Another very good one to know. Is really, any tank, this is great to know. But especially like blood decays or someone who can like straight out immune something. Right here, these ability damage types. If you're doing any kind of tanking, it's so good to know because i can know hey taking a lot of physical i could probably rune tap i could probably ice pound fortitude there's things i can use to help with that if it's mostly magical i will know amz and ams will benefit from that it's a uh, i'm going to skip around this video some a great point is this last boss right here when he uh his reaping scythe i don't know if you know this it's like half physical half magical so you can just pop AMS and negate the magic part of it, and it's like half of the damage. It's very good. I'm trying to show it here. So right now, and it shows it over the last five seconds. I think I already missed a Reaping Scythe, actually. A lot of physical, little shadow, Reaping Scythe, here it comes. Yeah, it, it jumps up, okay. Okay, it, it gets better. It, it helps a lot. Don't question it. Don't question it. Uh, let's see, what else can I show you? This is, I, I just Googled this. I don't actually remember what it's called, but it just shows your talents and stuff. This one also is just another thing I picked up too for streaming reasons, or not streaming, for recording reasons so you guys can see what I press, when I press it, and then also what talents I take. I don't, I don't need this guy on the left at all. I just take it. So people watching know what I took. Um, this ability thing is useful when I'm re-watching my own things. And that's the whole reason why I have mixed scrolling combat text right here. Because I want to know how much I got hit for. How much damage I did. What damage, what abilities hit hard. Which ones don't, you know what I mean? It's very helpful in retrospect. Um... I don't think I have anything else. I have like a desolate armor kit that shows when my armor kit's almost gone to re-up it. Like I said, I'm using quasi, Quasi's plate of name plates. Yeah. Zen Watcher is what I use that let me do the raid cooldowns, uh, healer mana. So this would be the healer mana, also the B res stuff. Um, this is Omni CD showing this, which you can tweak very easily. 
usually there's a little thing right above here that has the raid cooldowns like maybe it's just not working anymore for me it's an old one yeah I think uh I'm gonna miss something and then someone's gonna be asking hey man what about that um, I use addy bags that's minor that doesn't even matter about my whole UI right just simple things like that so yeah Elkano's buff bars here I just moved the anima power thing because it used to be right here it bothered me I set up my chat general which is just party chat and stuff like that and guild chat it's it's mostly everything and then if I need to look at a whisper that I may have missed, I just drill down here or trade or guild. That's really all I do. All right. I would say short and sweet. It was not short and sweet. Uh, I can put these, I'm so, so God damn it, dude. There, just turn the thing. Uh, I can put these links in the description. Uh, this add-on manager I'm using is Azure. Uh, I play on Linux, so for me, it's very nice, but it is going to be going away because of CurseForge. They are changing their API, so you can't just make a new client and use their API. So this won't work for any CurseForge add-ons soon. But I can still manage my weak orders from it, which is nice, and update them all. All right. That will be it. Thank you for watching. If it was helpful, 